Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge severe weather event that'll be taking place across the United States both today and tomorrow and this will bring the risk for significant damaging winds, large to very large hail and perhaps a few tornadoes. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the Great Plains and this is the area that we're going to be watching for some explosive severe weather later today. We're going to see a lot of storms fire up during the afternoon hours. As of right now, a low pressure system is centered back over in the Rocky Mountains and this is actually a pretty intense low pressure system. We got some strong southwesterly flow near the surface and that'll help to rotate supercells later today. Notice this morning we already have a lot of convection out there ranging from Texas all the way back through Canada. A little bit of thunderstorm activity ongoing in parts of the Texas Panhandle. Overall all that'll weaken as we go throughout the next several hours and eventually as we go into the mid-afternoon hours that's when we're going to start to see some storms really explode across parts of the central plains and again we'll talk about more details on this later in this forecast but this entire area here will be under the watch here for the next couple of days for severe weather now back over on the east coast of the united states it's completely different it's much nicer weather and that's all due to a high pressure system that was our heat dome that we saw across the southern and central plains and the midwest for the last several days but that is finally moving off to the east and what that will allow is this strong cold front to bring much cooler weather to much of the United States for the foreseeable future. We're going to see that big impact, really cooler weather as we head into Friday and Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned again. We'll talk about more details on the cool down later in this forecast. On the west coast of the United States, we're starting to dry out in this area as well. Main reason why is because that low pressure system again is moving off to the east. It's not really going to be any impact to those areas for the foreseeable future. But again, this is really the the main activity that we got to watch for for the next several days because we're going to be watching for severe weather, the flooding potential, and as well as much cooler weather for a lot of the United States. All right, let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next several days, and we will begin with today. This is Tossing Trampolines on Tacos Tuesday. As of right now, we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather from Nebraska back into Kansas. The main concern across this entire region will be large to very large hail. So if you have any vehicles parked outside, you might want to bring them inside because it's definitely going to be a pretty active day when it comes to the large hail threat. Damaging winds is also a concern, so damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour is possible, and as well as maybe a few tornadoes. And right now, we have a large risk of severe weather. Look at the slight risk, by the way. It goes from Mexico all the way back into Minnesota. Marginal threat goes from Canada into Mexico. So we're looking at three countries here that are included at least some sort of threat of severe weather. Obviously, the Storm Prediction Center doesn't forecast for Canada or Mexico, but we can assume that those areas would at least be in some sort of risk there. Over in Texas, we're also going to be watching for some large to very large hail. Maximum hail zone size today is expected to be about three to three and a half inches. So definitely make sure you're protecting your vehicle. All right, here's the main area that we're watching for large hail. This is why we have that enhanced risk of severe weather. It does include Nebraska and Kansas. That's where we'll be watching for some significant hail. So again, make sure you're taking the proper precautions today. This hatched area goes all the way back through parts of West Texas. So if you're anywhere in the hatched area, definitely be prepared for that large to very large hail threat. Elsewhere, we will still be watching for upward of golf ball size hail all the way from Texas back into Minnesota. So again, make sure you're staying weather aware today and have multiple ways to receive alerts. Tornado risk today is mainly going to be across parts of Nebraska and Kansas as well. So pretty much in that enhanced risk of severe weather, we'll be watching for maybe a few tornadoes. That'll stretch from Minnesota all the way back through the Texas Panhandle. So that entire area, we need to monitor the threat for a few tornadoes, but that best chance will likely be across Kansas. And the reason why is because we have a very strong low-level jet in this area today. This will really crank the low level shear and this will be able to allow for storms to rotate perhaps producing tornadoes as of right now going into this afternoon we're gonna have a strong southwesterly flow across much of kansas and even into parts of the oklahoma panhandle very favorable environment here for at least a couple of tornadoes maybe even a few as we go into the afternoon hours notice the low level jet upwards of 45 to 50 knots again very strong low level dynamics here and this will really be able to help to increase the tornado risk this afternoon so definitely make sure you have a tornado action plan in place if you're across central Kansas. Here's the timing guide for today, beginning with the central plains. Again, we're really going to be watching for storms firing up after lunchtime today, so around 12 to 1 o'clock. Storms will begin to ramp up, but mainly damaging winds and hail will be the main concerns as we head at least into the 12 to 1 o'clock range. Once we go later in the afternoon, storms really start to fire off quickly, so around 2 to 3 o'clock, storms will be really numerous to almost widespread across the state of Kansas, at least on the western tier, and then eventually as we go closer to 
about four to five o'clock storms will continue to move to the east this is really the most favorable area again for a tornado or two so definitely make sure you have a tornado action plan in place just in case a tornado warning is issued for your location after we go past six o'clock so just after dinner time this will become more of a line of storms so i don't think we'll have as much of a tornado risk after six o'clock but we'll likely still be looking at damaging winds and hail eventually as we go into the overnight hours that line weakens out and then by wednesday morning there will be some sporadic storm activity in northern oklahoma overall severe weather is not really expected out of that activity and then once we go into wacky weather wednesday things get a bit more interesting we're watching the southern plains for a severe weather risk i think that this will be upgraded to a, a larger slight risk of severe weather for damaging winds and i'll show you why in just a second right now there is a marginal threat though from oklahoma all the way back through west texas and even into north texas including the dfw metroplex main concerns are damaging winds hail maybe an isolated tornado or two here's the timing for tomorrow we'll be watching for a lot of storm activity in eastern texas during the morning hours and this will allow for a potential for some flash flooding by the afternoon around two o'clock we're gonna watch a lot of storms start to fire up across areas like west texas and as well as central and western oklahoma all these storms capable of large to very large hail initially this should become a line of storms and by this point we could be talking more about a damaging wind threat for those in north texas this would likely be more of a scattered to maybe numerous events so we might see a slight risk of severe weather for damaging winds across parts of southern oklahoma and as well as north texas this is eventually by six to seven o'clock storms are pushing through the dfw metroplex damaging winds the main concern but most importantly lots of beneficial rainfall out of this which is desperately needed across the state of texas because of the substantial drought that texas is in right now in terms of the total rainfall amounts this is an estimate from the european model indicating more of a two to four inch variety across central and east texas and then back through north texas and as well as west texas very sporadic amounts overall but anywhere from a half an inch all the way up closer to three inches of rain in some locations there's gonna be a chance for isolated rainfall totals as high as six to seven inches of rain all right let's talk a little bit about the long-term weather pattern because as of right now we have this big low pressure system across the rocky mountains high pressure system that's back over on the east coast of the united states once we go later in this week we're going to start to feel that big fall cool down across the central and southern plains this will lead to a big temperature drop across much of the united states very strong southerly winds here's the trough by friday we're gonna be watching for a very strong trough overall that's gonna bring a big cool down to the united states by next week i think we're gonna return to a bit more of a warmer weather pattern but overall i don't think it's gonna last too long because as we go further into october i think overall our weather pattern will stay very active so we're gonna see a lot of active weather systems across the united states here's what we're looking at the temperature anomalies notice the huge cool down by friday into saturday very dark blue colors that's going to represent well below normal temperatures across the central and eastern tier of the united states we're really going to feel it across the east coast of the united states going into saturday into sunday eventually going into next week we might have that omega block return which would mean heat returns again to the great plains unfortunately but again i think our weather pattern will remain active for much of october so this hopefully will not last as long as it has recently thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.